Time now for a look at your first alert weather forecast. Mark Nelson yeah. is joining us, and we were talking about how the sunset was pretty nice tonight. Pretty, mm -hmm. you know, colorful, yeah. orange, red. Anna just said that to me, and I said, that's what you're going to see right here, actually. Funny you say that. We didn't line it up, believe it or not. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's our Mary Hill Tasting Room Bistro camera. And yeah, look at how you get that nice orange color as the, all the dust scatters the uh, the light out of the atmosphere, those colors of the light. But uh, that's the Mary Hill Tasting Room Bistro camera on the Vancouver waterfront. All right, so where are we? Wow, three days with exactly the same high temperature, 94, 94, 94. Not excessive heat. There were no heat advisories, no uh, heat, excessive heat warnings, nothing like that. But just constantly very warm to hot here each afternoon. We were a little cooler this morning. I noticed we dropped to 64, so it's still above normal, but it wasn't as warm as a 68 yesterday morning. We think tomorrow it'll be about 91. If we get lucky, we might stay under 90, maybe. Maybe I'm too optimistic. I think down in the valley, you have a better chance of staying below 90. A little better push of ocean air down there this evening. So we're 80 at this point uh, this evening. I think that's about where we were last night at this time. Northwesterly wind at six miles per hour. Seaside looks like they are partying. Oh, I just covered it up with a logo, but you can see them dancing away or doing something over there on the left side at the end of the hood to coast relay. 61 degrees. The uh, marine air uh, fully uh, uh, kind, of, kind of jammed along the coastline. Some of it is poured into the valleys now. 64 Kelso. Look at that. 64 Kelso, but 80 in Portland. 80 in Portland, 70 at Eugene. Uh, Salem, 67 at Eugene. So Portland, all that urban heating, uh, not only that, but also the air pours in these gaps in the central uh, coast range, also comes up the Columbia River and the last place to cool off. They kind of meet here over the metro area. So that's another reason we tend to be later uh, cooling off. But in the gorgeous 70 out of Hood River, 76 out of the Dallas. Okay, so here's what's ahead. The endless, I think big picture, really big picture, when I look at the maps like seven, 10 days out, the endless dry and warm to hot weather, I think it's ending. I'm not saying we don't still have a few hot days and some more sunny and warm days at times, but I'm saying this endless July and August stuff I think is going to be wrapping up here. So I see 70 to 85 degree days after tomorrow. Probably won't get above 85 for at least a week. Uh, showers, yeah, wet at times Tuesday and Wednesday, possibly Thursday. Labor Day weekend, it's a little bit too early to tell. Some of our models say we're going to be pretty warm Friday, Saturday. Others say, eh, maybe not. So we will see. This model's been way too aggressive pushing in ocean air. It says some low clouds in the Central Valley tomorrow morning. Uh, but it makes the point that we'll be around 90 here in the North Valley. I think it's too aggressive Monday. It thinks on Monday we're only going to be around 70. I think it's about 10 degrees too cool. But the point is we got a big cool down coming up on Monday. And you see these scattered showers on Tuesday. And those are the showers we are expecting. It's from this system offshore. It's been staying offshore and letting us stay hot here in the valleys. But you can see it makes its big move tomorrow night into Monday and Tuesday. It moves right over us Tuesday. And when that happens, we get scattered showers. Do we get a second little low that drops in keeping the cool weather in here through the beginning of the Labor Day weekend? Maybe, maybe not. Some models have this, some do not. The point is, like I said, that we don't see the guaranteed dry and uh, endlessly warm to hot weather coming up here over the next week. Uh, the, only, the only guaranteed three-day spell of dry weather uh, probably not going to happen until the end of next week. We will see. All right, so Portland forecast tomorrow. Just like today, maybe a few notches cooler. We'll start about the same at 64. Nice lunchtime, 78. Turning hot about 2 p.m., 88. We'll touch 91. And then the seven-day forecast. Ooh, what a change. That's going to be nice. Morning clouds to afternoon sun, Monday about 80. 70s, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We'll see if we make it into the 80s Friday. And uh, Saturday, uh, yeah, I think we got the first two days of September. Looks pretty comfortable. Maybe low to mid-80s, maybe. Some models, again, keep us in the 70s. So it's not really fall, but Anna, it's, we've turned the corner past mm -hmm. the uh, hottest of summer for sure. All right, it's looking great. Thank you, Mark.